Hi, my name is Kate. I uh, am doing this for a friend of mine who is a junior doctor. And I, um, I clearly, as you can tell from my accent, don't live in the UK. I actually live in the US. I live in Illinois. It's the state that has Chicago in it. Um, and that actually is important to what I'm gonna share with you. I have a couple chronic conditions chronic health conditions, and I'm uh, wanting to share with you some of the changes and things that have impacted my health and my medical care here in the States. Um, we have this thing called Obamacare, so the, the changes that have been taking place since President Obama um, was able to pass um, the Affordable Care Act. Um, one of the first changes that impacted my life was I was able to stay on my parents' insurance until I turned 26. When I turned 26, I was uh, attending university, so I was able to take my university's insurance. When I had to withdraw from university for medical reasons, and that insurance ran out, I had to switch over to state insurance. So I, for one month, I was on Medicaid through Illinois, and then I had to pick up an additional form of insurance through them. And I'm on something called Harmony. When I was on Medicaid, they only cover four prescriptions per month. I have the information here. My insurance on Medicaid, they saved me $246.99 on this one prescription. They saved me $64.99 on this one. On this one, they saved me $973.99. Those are the numbers I would have had to pay out of pocket if I didn't have insurance for these medications. That month, I would have had to pay for three medications over $1,200. I am on 10 medications. My medications that I had filled just the other day using Harmony, they saved me $39.99, cents. $291.09. $53.99 and $615.09. The total I ended up paying for those that I just showed you was less than $8 because of the coverage that I had when I would have had to pay over $1,000 out of pocket. Now, again, those are only seven medications total, and that's over $2,000 I would have had to pay out of pocket without the state's assistance. One of the things about Illinois is they have extended their health care coverage to assist people who are not working and don't make a certain amount of money, even if they're not disabled. So I did not have to register as being disabled to get this assistance. One of the other things is this is all improvement on how things were. It's still not that great. My doctors, I have to change doctors because they're not covered. I found out the other day when I went in to get a, a prescription, the paper script from my doctor that I then bring to the pharmacy, that my doctor that I've been with since I was 14, and I'm 26, going to be 27 in January, they're not covered. So I have to pay out of pocket every time I see that doctor if I want to keep seeing them. And that will be $170 each time I see that doctor. And they're a vital doctor for me to see. I have to see them. And that specific one, it's very important to me that I see that specific one. My, I have a, another doctor I see that we already pay out of pocket for $100. $50 every time I see them, and I see them every week. We're considering switching down to every other week. And that's only two doctors. That's not considering, th those are two doctors for my maintenance. 
that's not considering a doctor that I see in Ohio every year, twice a year. That's not considering if I get sick or going to my general doctor. That's not considering all these other doctors that I have to see. Those are only two doctors that I see on a regular basis. So I just, um, I had been sharing some information with my friend who's a junior doctor and she wanted me to take some pictures to, of these receipts to show how things are over here compared to how they are for you over in the UK. And I said, I'll make a video because it's really whatever I can do to help because she's important to me and I know that the junior doctors are important and the NHS is something that needs to be kept and whatever I can do to help, this is what I can do, then I want to do it. I support the NHS and I hope that the junior doctors are given the respect and, 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 the, and the, um, the, the paycheck for that respect that, that they deserve. They're saving lives and that's something that needs to be maintained. Thank you.